there was a young fellow who was a very, very nervous young fellow. And he was very much in love with a girl, but he was too nervous to propose to her in the ordinary way. So he suddenly had a brainwave and thought he had telephoned to her. So he telephoned her up and said, I say, I say, is that Miss Johnson? So she said, yes. So he said, I say, do you know I have a most important question to ask you? So she said, have you? He said, what is it? So he said, I say, I say, will you marry me? So she said, rather, I should think I will. Who is it speaking? There's a young fellow who got married, and shortly after he was married, he invited a friend down to meet the new wife. And after dinner, the young wife was sitting in the corner doing a little bit of sewing. And the young husband went up to his friend and said, uh, I say, old boy, I say, old man. He said, what do you think of the wife? So his friend said, well, old chap, do you want a candid opinion? He said, of course I do. Of course I want a candid opinion. So his friend said, well, old chap, he said, her teeth, her teeth, they are four teeth, aren't they? So the husband said, yes, old man, yes, yes, they are four teeth, yes, she has four teeth. And the friend said, her eye, her eye, the fourth eye, isn't it? So the husband said, yes, 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 as a matter of fact, she has a fourth eye, yes, that is a fourth eye. Then the friend said, her hair, her hair. That's a wig, isn't it? So the husband said, yes, that's a wig right enough. You can speak up. She's deaf as well. A man went up to the manager of an iron foundry and asked for a job. So the manager said, well, as a matter of fact, I do want a man, but he must be a strong man. He said, now, are you a strong man? He said, very strong indeed, governor. He said, really a strong man? Very powerful, governor. Oh, he said, well, I'll try you for the day to see how you get on. Well, he turned out to be a very good man indeed, so he kept him on. And a day or so went by, and the man came up to the manager and said, Excuse me, asking a governor, but do you think you could find a job for my brother? Oh, he said, Your brother's strong man? Very strong indeed, governor. He said, Really a strong man? Very powerful, governor. Oh, he said, Well, send him up and I'll see what I can do. Well, the brother turned out to be a very good man, so he kept him on. Well, a few more days went by, and once more the man came up. He said, Governor, I do hope that you won't think that I'm rude or annoying you or anything like that. Think it'll find a job for my father? Oh, I said, I don't know about that. Your father a strong man? Very strong indeed, Governor. Really a strong man, very powerful, Governor. He says, yes, that's all very well. But your father must be an elderly man. He can't be as strong as you. He said, not as strong as me, Governor. Huh? Why, as strong as me and my brother put together. Said, right, you and your brother leave on Saturday and your father comes in on Monday. <laughs>